take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The just released debut trailer for sequel Venom. Let There Be Carnage will obviously leave fans fawning over the unveiling of Marvel Comics' Crimson Symbiote serial killer, Carnage. Indeed, director Andy Serkis confirmed to IGN that Venom, Let There Be Carnage is not operating in the MCU. Take our lead. Deadpool will officially become part of the MCU with the R-rated Deadpool 3. But here are some earlier MCU films he could show up in beforehand. It's recently been revealed that the upcoming Deadpool 3 will indeed be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as confirmed by Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige. Take our lead. The Venom 2 trailer appears to feature a hidden Easter egg referencing the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Avengers. Tom Hardy will reprise the role of Eddie Brock, the Spider-Man Marvel Comics character who becomes unwittingly possessed by a super-powered alien symbiote point one day ago. Take our lead. Spider-Man becoming Venom is one of his most exciting storylines, but it's not one you'll get to see in the MCU. Here's why it won't happen. After Sony and Marvel reached an agreement, Spider-Man finally joined the MCU while also being part of the Sony Pictures universe of Marvel characters. Take our lead. Earlier on in the film, it was revealed by Anne's nice doctor boyfriend that the symbiote was slowly killing Eddie. When he discovers this, he falls out with the creature. Yet once they've become pals, Brock seems to have no problem bonding with Venom again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.